Hello everyone, my name's Lost, and today we are going to look at skills, and we're going to get this skill working. The first one is called Spear Lance, and we essentially jump right up into the air and then slam down onto the ground, like that. Uh, we're going to get this working, it damages minions and all that cool, crazy stuff, so yeah, let's get started. So then, the first thing we need to do is we need to add some sprites, uh, four or five of them to be exact. So the first one we're going to create will be Sprite Warrior Q Skill 1. And then obviously you'll find this in the description below, as always. So yeah, let's just get it, get that in there like that. And obviously let's do the origin as we always would. Set the speed to 60. And let's sort out the collision mask as well. So we're going to just duplicate that. And we'll just call this Q skill 2. Uh, and you'll see what these animations are. Obviously, the first one is jumping up into the air, and the second one is when he then comes down. Let me show the origins right, and then the collision mask once again. So, yeah, let's just add a group. We'll call this Spear Lance. And, yeah, we'll just, we'll just put everything to do with this skill inside. And next up... Oh yeah, let, let's insert it into the warrior folder as well, just to keep everything organized. So now we're going to need Spear Lance Aim. This is the aiming reticle you saw earlier. Uh, the origin wants to be in middle center, and the collision mask. We essentially need to just disable it uh, because we don't we don't want this to collide with anything. We've got to just disable that. That's the aiming bit is nothing but um, the aiming reticle. That's all. So now we need, uh, oh, just duplicate the aiming sp sprite actually, and this is going to be the collision sprite. So we'll just call it Spearlands Collision, and th leave the origin middle center. But this time around, we want the we want an ellipse, and yeah, turn it to automatic, and there we go, and set the speeds to zero. So next up is Sprite Floor Crack. This will just leave like a nice cracked floor afterwards, which will fade away. Origin, middle, center, and again, just we need to disable the collision mask. So next up, let's start turning these into some objects. So first we're going to create a group, and we are going to call that Spear Lance. And I put it in enemy by accident, but yeah. Let's just get that out. So the first object we need is Object Spear Lance Aim. Let's go ahead and set the sprite. And yeah, it just needs a step event. Just going to name this position. That's all it's going to do. It's going to set the X and Y. So we're going to say if mouse Y is bigger than 250 and mouse Y is smaller than 495, the X will equal the mouse X. Oh, not quite. So if global dot player, oh I I remember. So if global dot player dot Q skill phase is zero, we'll create these variables soon, and once we create them, I'll talk you through exactly what they do. Then we'll say if the phase zero phase is zero, then it will set the x and y to the mouse. Next up, we need object spear lands collision. This will be the object we assign. Um, the sort of damage to and how we get the damage to work so yeah create event and this time we just need alpha and we're going to set the alpha to zero so it's just an invisible collision circle we also need object floor crack we need a step event and we're just going to call the description alpha now I, I did insert alpha that should have just been alpha but just go ahead and say image alpha minus 0 0.025. And then we'll say if image alpha is less than or equal to 0, we will destroy the instance. Next up, we need to be an object warrior in the create event to be specific. And here we go. We need. Q oh, I accidentally deleted Q skill from here. You've, you already have this, I believe, so. 
I'll just pop this back in real quick. There we go. We need Q skill phase to start with. And it's going to start with zero. Now zero means that the skill is not begun. It has not begun. One means in air. Two means animation change to coming down. Three will be bring the pain. <laughs> sure lost, why not? And four will be move if stuck. So if we accidentally land in anything, we'll just unstick us from that in phase four. We also need to set the animation. So anim Q skill one will equal sprite warrior. Yeah, Q skill one. And we're just going to copy and paste that for skill two. And we need Q skill attack. We're going to give it an attack value as well. So into the step event, we then need to state the, the script warrior Q skill, which we haven't made yet, but we'll get to that shortly. Now in the animation end, we need to say elsif sprite index is animation Q skill one. And that's just, you know, if, if animation Q skill one finishes, we're gonna set the image speed to zero and the image index to zero as well. Oh, sorry, to the last one, to the very last one. We're just going to do the exact same for image, uh, for the animation Q skill 2 as well. Now, I should have just copy and pasted that, but <laughs> I'm stupid, so I didn't. So, yeah, next up we need to be in the warrior control script. And in here we need to say if keyboard check pressed, if keyboard check pressed odd. Q. So if we press the Q button, then we're going to start the skill. So let's say sprite index now equals anim idle, and image index is zero. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, I don't want us to be attacking anything as we then you know start this. And also I've spelled image index wrong there. You just fix that because I don't think I do. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. I'll fix it in mine post-production but yeah you guys fix it we just say moving equals false attacking equals false and my target equals no one well so we're going to say state warrior yeah is the Q skill state so now let's create the script we're going to say script warrior Q skill and in here we're going to say if Q skill phase equals zero if instance so if instance doesn't exist that's the exclamation point there. Objects BLance aim. So if it doesn't exist, then we're going to create one. Oh, you know we're preparing for loads of code when I do that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to create the layer. Um, and I, for some reason, I decide to put this in the middle of the room, which is stupid. I change this later on to the mouse's X and Y, so whatever. Follow along if you want, or just make the amendment now. That's totally up to you. But yeah, we're just creating the object Spearlance aim. Else, if it exists, so we've created it, now it exists, so now we'll say if mouse check button pressed, and we're looking for the left mouse button. If we press the left mouse button, we're going to say if mouse Y is bigger than 250, and mouse Y is also lower than um, 495, and if the sprite index does not equal an MQ skill 1, then we're going to set it to anim Q skill one. But we're also going to set the end X to mouse X and the end Y to the mouse Y. Sorry, to minus 700, so he flies up right in the air. We're going to say sprite index equals anim Q skill one. Image index is going to equal zero. Image speed equals 0 0.4. Below that, we're going to say Q skill phase is now one, so the that's the first phase done of the skill. So now we'll say if else if Q skill phase is two. Uh, sorry, if it's if you know what I mean, if it's one, then we're gonna now move where we need to go. So we're gonna move to the end X and the end Y at a speed of fifteen, and we're not gonna check all, so we're just gonna move straight through everything. We're gonna say if X is now if we're at the end point. So if X and Y, the end X and end Y, 
then then index now equals objects blance aim.x and end y is object spearlance aim.y and now we're going to say q skill phase is now 2 so let's say if sprite index does not equal anim q skill 2 then we'll set it same as the image index back to 0 and obviously image speed back to 0 0.4 and now set the Q skill phase to equal 3 so now we'll say MP linear step and this is where we come crashing down to uh, the floor so we've set the index name Y to be the speed lance Amex and X and Y so now we're, we're going to crash down so if X so if we're at the position then variable inflict damage equals and we're going to create the um, object spearlance collision now and we're going to create it right in the center of object spearlance x and y so in the exact same position the spearlance aim is is where we're going to create this oh and i do apologize you see where i've put object spearlance dot x um, you need to make that object spearlance uh, underscore aim for both of them so object spearlance underscore aim there and object spearlance underscore aim there as well I fixed that shortly but just so you guys can get it right so we're going to say with parent enemy this is where we inflict the damage so if place meeting is x and y with and the, the, obviously it's with inflict damage which is just the Spearlance collision. So yeah, we're going to say HP minus equals the global player attack plus the global player Q skill attack. So it's kind of like a modifier, I guess, you know. I'm just going to put them both together. Times 100, divide defense. So that, that's the equation. You need to remove the bracket at the end there, but this one here, that needs to go, but it doesn't matter. So then we're going to say instance create layer object spearlance aim. Then we'll create, sorry, we create the flock crack at, obje at object spearlance's aims x and y. That's what I meant to say. And then we destroy everything. So we destroy the inflict damage. Good stuff. We destroy object spearlance aim Q skill we set the phase back to zero now oh no we don't we set it to four my bad now phase four gets us unstuck if we are currently stuck so else if Q skill equals phase four and if it is we say if place meeting oh sorry if place empty our X and Y so if it's not empty then we will move out the way so let's say if x is smaller than room width the reason I'm getting the coordinates here is so that I know whether to move us to the left to the right to up or down etc so if we're, if we're on the left side of the room we're going to move to the right so move outside all and then we'll move to the right which is 0 that's the direction the move distance is 5 that's just like five pixels at a time I guess else we're gonna move um, to the left if anything else is true like that 180 is left and then we're gonna do the same for up and down so if, if we are smaller than the room height divide 2 we're gonna move uh, down like that else we'll move up which of course is 90 because you know a 90 degree angle so else if if the space is actually empty then we'll do this we'll say sprite index back to anim idle image index will equal 0 image speed obviously back to 0 0.4 q skill phase now equals 0 again 
and the state can equal control again. So yeah, now we just have a little test. And I, I realize there's a couple of errors that I've made, so I'm just going to skip ahead and fix them, and I'll show you what I fixed. So yeah, first of all, I just uh, make that underscore into a close bracket. Secondly, I remove the close bracket there. We then have to go into Object Warrior, because there's a problem in here. And that's just because I, I forgot to close the brackets at the end. Or the... Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, there you go. As you can see, I just changed the spear lance to aim. Ignore this show message bit down here. This was just me testing. Just, yeah, you, you need to make sure that there's underscore aim both here and here, or, or it's not going to work. So now if you go back into um, the script warrior control, we're just going to edit this bit slightly in the Q check. So all we need in the Q check is uh, the top bit here. So let me show you. So we do actually need to put it back there. But we need to get rid of this bottom bracket and we just need to close it here instead. This just works a lot better. But yeah, I, for some reason I just accidentally delete that so I put it back in. And yeah, let's test it. And there we go, looks good. So let's make sure we're damaging stuff. We put a range on this soon. Uh, Oh, ignore that wire, that was my test earlier. But yeah, as you can see, we're damaging stuff, it's all working cool. So yeah, I, I just delete that show message now. And yeah, now it works properly. So now if you come into um, Script Warrior Q skill, we're just going to change this to the mouse X and Y, where we create the object spear and aim. This just makes way more sense. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So now let's create a range. So if you go into the um, object spear lance aim and go in the step event where we've put if global dot play q skill equals phase zero just underneath you need to create a new if statement we're just going to say if point distance from the mouse x and the mouse y so this just gets the distance between two points so we're looking for the distance between the mouse x or where the mouse is sorry and where the player is, okay? That's what we're looking for. And then we're just saying if it's below or equal to 1,000, then it'll aim where we are. So if we move the mouse too far, it won't it won't go there. Look like there's there's the maximum range, which I think is cool. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, there's range, guys. So first up, if we go back to the um, script Q skill, just here we're gonna write if keyboard. Uh, check is pressed and then we're going to look for the escape button which is just virtual keyboard escape uh, and if we press escape then we're going to cancel um, casting the spell or skill or whatever you know what I'm, you guys know what I'm talking about so yeah we're just going to copy this and paste it inside here and we also need to say with um, object spear lance aim and we're just going to do instance destroy so now if we go into the step of object spear lance uh, we're just going to say if mouse check button pressed left then you guys just go ahead and copy this in what this will do is this then allows us to click the skill at the bottom to send us into the state Q skill so then we have a choice of either you know pressing Q or clicking the skill itself. Okay, and this that'll start the skill, essentially, is what this code does. So yeah, feel free to just copy that in. Oh, there's a bit more apparently. Oh yeah. So if we if we left click and if the mouse is on top of the object, uh, then it will also start the skill. So let's just have a quick look at that. Make sure it make sure it's working, which spoiler alert, ladies and gents. It is. So yeah, this is Q and escape, and there you go, as you can see, I just clicked it, and it's working. Um, we can press escape and stop it. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.